Hey guys, Rafferty Pendry here. In this video, I'm talking about how do you actually build a team? Check it out. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up for me and feel free to subscribe to my channel for future content like this. So first off, establishing goals of what you're trying to accomplish, having a clear vision of where you're trying to go is super important. When you can do that, people understand how to align their actions. If you don't have a clear path of what you're saying, here's what we're trying to do, they're going to have a hard time. You're gonna find out that people seem like they're actually going against you a lot, that they're pulling in different directions, that they aren't accomplishing what you're trying to get them to do. And sometimes you have to step back and realize, maybe. Maybe I haven't been articulating exactly what I'm trying to do very well. And as sometimes I thought, man, I was being really, really clear about it. I started to ask, honestly, you're not gonna get in trouble for answering the question. What do you think it is that we're trying to do here? And it's incredible how you're gonna find out various different answers. Some of them are completely wrong from what you've been saying. Even if you felt like you've said it many times, you never know until you start digging into it, what somebody's viewpoint is and why they might be operating a different way. And sometimes it can feel like the stupidest things in the world, but, that doesn't make that person stupid. It means that we need to be more clear about our vision direction and where we're trying to go. The second piece would be getting the right people. So once you've clearly articulated where you're trying to go, now we wanna get the right people in the right positions to be able to do those jobs and functions. How do we know when we have the right people? One of the parts that's interesting is there is a balance when building a company or building an organization or building a group based on how much time you're going to spend investing in that person to train them or getting somebody who already has that experience. But I will caution you, just because somebody has the experience doesn't mean they do it your way. Just because they have the experience doesn't mean that they're totally aligned to your purpose, your vision. And so I always start with people who are the right personality first that are in alignment with what I'm trying to do. They are bought into the company itself because I can train a lot of the skills. And that doesn't mean that it's easy to do that. Sometimes it takes a while to build those skills. Sometimes you decide, you know what, we need to grow faster and we don't have time to train the skills. There is a balance between hiring people who already have the skills and people who are the right fit. I would say ultimately though, if somebody's not aligned to your vision, mission, where you're trying to go in the business, they're not gonna be a good fit. You can't train that part. If it's something that they're not interested in, they don't really wanna be doing, you can't really train that. Start with getting people who are totally bought into you and then you can build some of the foundations and the skills and just realize any single person that comes along doesn't mean they're gonna do it exactly correctly, doesn't mean they're gonna do it your way. I've had guys who said, yeah, I've been in sales for 30 years and it was horrible in our company. Does that mean that that person's a horrible salesperson? Not necessarily. It means that in our business, in our organization, with our structure, it wasn't a right fit. I've also found times where I needed to improve my training. I needed to get things more structured. Okay, good, lesson learned. Starting with the right people in the right positions, once you've established that vision and direction is key. People can only do good when we're actually providing feedback on the things that need to improve and the things that they are doing well. Provide correction and coaching on the things that aren't being done well so that the person can get on board. Sometimes we're so afraid of hurting somebody's feelings or something like that, that we don't provide that coaching and direction. That doesn't mean we have to be mean about it, but it does mean we need to be very, very clear. And sometimes it comes across as being mean, Sometimes it comes across as being negative because I am being very clear about the situation and my expectations. I won't do that intentionally, but it does happen when you're saying, hey, that isn't the right thing. I want you to understand that is wrong. By taking the time to actually coach that person and care for that person, you can help them get better and better and better at their jobs, which means they're gonna contribute more, they're gonna be more successful, they're gonna be happier, their pay goes up, they can move up in an organization, et cetera, et cetera. So you're really investing in the person. Don't forget to establish what is great. What does success look like for a position, for an area, for a business? If you think, okay, you know what? This is what great looks like. Then you can start to actually work backwards from that in terms of what do I need to do to get us into that position? What are the things that need to be in place to accomplish that? These are just some overall tips. I hope that helps. If you guys like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much.